We need every city agency on the same page to ensure the safety of the people using our buildings. The safety and security of the people entering and using our buildings, both public and our employees, is the highest priority. We recently completed an audit of how the city approaches security in some city buildings, including the city and county building and the Webb Municipal Building. We started this audit work in 2019 after I and many of my colleagues had concerns about the city's incident responses and some notification errors. There was an incident when the Webb building had to be evacuated, but many people did not know what was going on or where to go. In this audit, we looked at physical safety and security, as well as security services provided at city facilities to determine whether the safety of city employees and visitors is adequately addressed. We reviewed documentation and data to support current practices and internal controls from January 1st, 2018 through October 31st, 2019. We found the city is not adequately prioritizing assessments and updates to the city's facilities, safety, and security. We identified an overall lack of citywide strategic planning, which has resulted in a fragmented approach in different agencies, buildings, and systems. The responsibility for ensuring safety and security for the public, city employees, and elected officials is decentralized and divided across agencies. In one example, we found the Denver Security Office was working on a new safety initiative and needed to purchase new equipment. Partway through that project, the office realized the needed equipment had already been purchased and was in storage. In another example, a team from the security office visited a facility to check out security after there was an incident. However, when they got there, the team realized the police department had already done the same assessment. The lack of communication could lead to gaps in security or wasted efforts and resources. Leadership in the Department of General Services and the Department of Finance have recently made changes to better prioritize safety and security. However, our team found the implementation of security efforts and the identification of priorities appears to be a reaction to specific incidents, not prompted through a proactive approach to identified risks. The city takes security seriously, but we need to make sure we're looking forward as well as backward. We also need better training for fire drills and updates to the city employees' badging system. Now is the best time for the city to address the need for security updates. General Services is already making significant changes to how people move around the building in response to COVID-19. At the same time, they could be assessing security needs and updates. The auditee agreed to all of our recommendations to improve the city's safety and security. We want to protect everyone who uses our facilities for services and government business from any bad actors that might want to do harm. Well, that's it for this episode of Ask the Auditor. If you have a question, send it to auditor at denvergov.org, and maybe your question will be the next question we ask on the next episode of Ask the Auditor.